Hi, this is Dr. Jason Dulac coming to you from my office, Dulac Dental in Springfield in Springfield, Virginia. Today, I want to talk a little bit about cavities and cavity prevention. Uh, you need two things for cavities. You need sugar and you need bacteria in the mouth to make the cavities. So cavities are caused by one type of bacteria in the mouth. When that bacteria gets sugar, they make acid for 20 minutes and the acid dissolves the tooth and makes a cavity. So how can you prevent cavities? Brushing, flossing will help keep the plaque off the teeth. So plaque, the fuzzies you get on your teeth when you haven't brushed in a while, that's a layer of bacteria. When that bacteria, that type of bacteria gets sugar, they're going to make acid for 20 minutes and the acid's going to dissolve the tooth and make a cavity. You can make the tooth more resistant to decay by fluoride. Fluoride makes it harder to get a cavity. So we always recommend professional fluoride application when you're in the office, a fluoride toothpaste, and I also recommend a home fluoride mouth rinse for your home use. There is something else called MI paste, to calcium phosphate paste, that also can help remineralize teeth, but it's much more expensive than fluoride. So you can find it on Amazon, $25, $30 a tube. However, for most patients on a cost-adjusted basis, fluoride is going to be the best thing for you. So that talks a little bit about home care and fluoride. That's what everyone typically focuses on. However, you do need sugar to get cavities. So if there's no sugar in the diet, you can't get cavities. You know, unfortunately, sugar's in almost everything that we eat now, like 80% of things have sugar in it. So we do want to keep the teeth clean, but it's frequent exposure to sugar that causes cavities. So you can eat whatever you want three times a day, at least as far as the teeth are concerned. It's frequent exposure to sugar. So you could have a bag of Skittles at every meal at mealtime, as long as it's not extended out. You know, you're already eating and drinking things that have sugar in it. The bacteria in your mouth will make acid for 20 minutes and saliva will buffer it out and, you know, things are back to normal. If you take that same pack of Skittles and spread it out throughout the day, you're getting acid production from the first Skittle you take until 20 minutes after the last Skittle you take. That's way too much acid for the saliva to buffer out. You can't kind of trick it or game it by rinsing with water or anything like that. Once that bacteria gets that sugar, it's going to make acid for 20 minutes and it's going to dissolve the tooth and make cavity. So it's not the amount of sugar in your diet, it's the frequency of it. So for most people today, it's sports drinks, energy drinks, you know, Gatorade, soda. Now and again, I'll have somebody who's snacking on something throughout the day, but for most people, it's sugar in beverage. One thing that's commonly overlooked is a real lemon put in water or tea. Even though it's not sugar, there's enough sugar in that to cause cavities. So if you're going to be sipping on coffee or tea throughout the day, make sure it's either sugar-free, lemon-free, or with an artificial sweetener, at least as far as cavities are concerned. A sugar alcohols, like sugar-free gum, add in some protein shakes, xylitol, sorbitol, things like that. Those do not cause cavities. So glucose or sucrose, refined sugars, that's what's going to cause decay. Xylitol is interesting. It's a sugar alcohol that's found in some sugar-free gums, rare in the United States for tariff reasons, a little cheaper in Japan and Canada. But like icebreakers gum, it's the first ingredient and you can buy other xylitol gums online. Very interesting. Uh, sugar alcohols are also like diabetic candy sugars. The bacteria in the mouth can't use them to make cavities, but for some reason, xylitol actually reduces your risk of cavities. So we think what happens is the bacteria, in order to use that sugar, they have to shift their whole metabolism such that they can't use regular sugar as much. So after a meal, if you're not at home, you can't brush or floss, I always say sugar-free gum, especially if it's xylitol-containing gum. It's also a good way to sim stimulate salivary flow. I have a lot of patients as they get older start to get dry mouth typically from medications. Uh, dry mouth will place you at higher risk for decay. So make sure you're hydrated. You can talk to your doctor about changing medications, but typically you're on that medication for a reason. And most similar medications would do the same thing. So they also make something over the counter called biotin. Uh, that's been out for a while. Glycerin base kind of helps soothe and coat things. Make sure you get extra fluoride if you're having dry mouth. The home fluoride rinse is, is great. We can also give you a prescription fluoride toothpaste. There are also some newer medications on the market that help with salivary flow. So if you have really dry mouth, you have burning in the mouth, there are some prescription medications through mail order pharmacies and things like that that we can call in for you. And typically the company will give you samples if it's not covered by your insurance. So if you have any issues with dry mouth, let us know. That's something we can help you with as well. A small cavity you won't feel. So really important to come in for regular cleanings, exams, checkups. Cavity has to get close to the nerve before you feel it. So by the time you feel it, it's usually too late. It's usually going to need a root canal and a crown or extraction. We want to catch them when they're small in the outer surface of the tooth where you can't feel them. Crowns and fillings don't prevent you from getting a cavity again. You can still get a cavity at the edge of the crown or filling. Crowns last about three times longer than fillings, but over time you get differential wear between the filling and the tooth. It opens up a little gap. 
bacteria and fluids start to get in there and over time a secondary cavity forms. Unless you don't have the tooth in the mouth, dentures, implants, things like that, you can always get cavities. I hope that answers some of your questions about cavities. If you have any questions about cavities or a word you might have a cavity, give us a call at the office. It's Dulac Dental of Springfield, 703-451-4500. Thanks so much.